to win a national championship. Sure, we all wanted to do that. I expected that of myself, you know, being there for two years, that 95 being my third year, I guess you could say I've already been groomed over the first couple years to, hey, it's time to win, it's your turn. And a guy like Augie, who's been there, done that from the 70s to the 80s, you have no other choice but to buy in. You're not gonna buy in, it's just, you're leaving. So, it's not pressure, it's just, you know, that, those are the expectations of where he, where he is and where he's been. It's the expectations of just winning, winning that national championship. Throughout the course of the season, we had one three-game losing streak, and I, I remember it vividly because it happened in Wichita State. We lost two games. We went to the University of Nevada in Reno. We lost the first game there, and Augie got us together and basically turned it over to the team captain, and the team captain at the time was a guy named D.C. Olson. So I said, D.C., I've told these guys everything I know about what to do, how to do it, when to do it, and it's doing no good. We're still all uptight. You say something. Well, man, we just gotta play ball. This is stupid. Well, man, we just gotta play ball. This is stupid. So the famous D.C. Olson speech <laughs> that just went on like that, and they did it. And he said, we're better than these guys, this is stupid. And it was just, you know, that kind of stuff. And they didn't lose a game after that. They won 18 games in a row after that. So runners at first and second now with nobody out. And that brings up Kotze, and this guy is dangerous. First pitch and swing and a drive deep to right center field. Way back, Dawkins at the wall, watches it sail over the center field wall. A huge home run for Mark Kotze. We were going down in the bus final game of the College World Series to play for the championship. We're playing USC, and uh, Augie stands up and drops his pants, and he's got these elephant boxers on. We're Titans, we're elephants as our mask guy, and it just really broke the ice. It loosened everybody up. You know, I mean, our pregame speech was, don't change a thing, let's go out and play like we played all year, relax. You know, it's one more game, and that was the philosophy. And we ended up really enjoying a very memorable 57-9 and nine season. Next up was the red-hot bat of sophomore Mark Kotze. Here's the kick of the 1-0 pitch, swinging a high, deep drive to right. Kotze has back-to-back -back home runs, a three-run shot and a two-run shot. Wow, what a home run for Mark Kotze. All the nation is watching Mark Kotze have the biggest day of his life and the biggest game of his life. But in the bottom of the seventh, the Titans blew the game wide open. This one's well hit. Right field, way back at the warning track, at the wall, and it's gone. Tony Martinez with a huge three-run home run for Cal State Fullerton. The 95 team was voted by the College World Series after 60 years as the best team to play in the College World Series. Uh, the, the people in Omaha. And uh, Mark Kotze was voted the most valuable player in the 60-year history of the College World Series. Two on and two out. And all of a sudden, things have gotten a little more interesting here at Rosenblatt. It's 11 to 5 in favor of Cal State Fullerton. Left-hander Kotze to the bell. 0-2 pick. High fly ball to left. This ought to do it. Miranda under it reaches up and Cal State Fullerton has won their third NCAA College World Series championship 11 to 5. Now they had the taste of sweet victory. They were the toast of college baseball. They were the national champions. An athletic program.